all right my beautiful people once again i welcome you to this um wonderful youtube channel where they give you the back-to-back -back news and informate on things where they happen and for the land as it they hold please subscribe to this channel if you've not yet subscribed and make sure you turn on your notifications so that you yourself can get notified whenever we drop our spanking news straight to the matter where we carry come for you because um Primate Ayo Dele and Primate Ayo, now that uh, man of God in quote, will be say, like to give prophecy. He don't give a lot of prediction. I'm not even calling it pro prophecy because uh, these people are just predicting things. Just the same way, you know, people forecast and um, predict them. Um, football and all that that is the way these so-called men of men of god you know are doing all, all this kind of prediction or in the name of prophecy you know that is why most of their so-called prophecies you know end up um end up failing woefully and then um, it is actually bad you know when they do these things and they use the name of god you know they use the name of god in vain you know to claim that they are prophesying to the people but the reality is that all they do is um, a matter of um, prediction they are you know trying to guess or second guess you know and when it turns out good then they will they will take the glory to themselves well that's not the issue the news why i carry come for you primate are your daily don't release 2024 prophecies and the major reason why i'm bringing this news is because he has come out to say that he he that god said that god said in quote that the um, mazen nam de kano and them um, simon epa we quarrel very soon that is Mazenam de Kano and Simon Ekwa you know will end up fighting very soon and that is what primate Ayodele is coming out them um, to say that um, this is what God you know told him that will happen in 2024 without wasting any more of your time uh, make you go straight to the news but don't forget say uh, make you uh, go to the comment section give your own input on what you think or what you feel about them um, this so-called prophecy by primate ayo delay the news in detail the leader of the of inri evangelical spiritual church primate ayo delay has um, ruled out a night one page prophecies for the year 2024. Primate Ayodele's 2024 prophecies touched on Nigeria's economy, the All Progressive Congress, APC, Nigerian Governors Forum, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Other areas of the prophecies include Biafra, Simon Ekpa, Namdekano, and Sunday Igbo. We continue with the news. He further spoke about the Senate President, Doswil Akpabu, National Security Advisor, NSA, Nuhu Ribadu, and Asurok. Not left out were prediction on River State, Nyesumwike, as well as upcoming election in Edo State and Ondo State. Part of the prophecies, Reese. The economy of in Nigeria, the Spirit of God says the uh, Nigerian economy needs a lot of prayer for it to be revived. The economy policies and activities needs to be well moderated and coordinated in order to achieve desired result. I foresee that under the current realities, the Sefa will be stronger than the Naira. Also. The dollar to Naira will rise to 1,400 and this will shake the economy so badly. There are forces that are hell-bent at frustrating the Tunubu-led federal government, but they will not be successful. This is what Ayodele is saying on the economy, uh, that, um, that there are forces, you know, uh, working against the economy and blah, blah, blah. The reality is that People are looting money, stealing money, and keeping this money to themselves. And you're coming out here to say that um, the economy, Sekwanka, na God, Sekwanke, and this and that, all these things are rubbish. 
people should stop using the name of the Lord in vain. It is a sin. And the problem is that um, they are always calling God and claiming prophets, prophet this, prophet that. I'm not bringing anybody. I'm not berating anybody. But the reality is that this is getting out of hands. Let us continue with the prophecies. The one he spoke on Simon Ekwa and Namdekano. He said, the Spirit of God says, Simon Ekwa, and Namdekano we still fight. I foresee division within the ranks of the indigenous people of Biafra. The Spirit of God says those clamoring for the release of Namdekano will not be appreciated in 2024. If they are not very careful, Namdekano is risking very long jail term. The Spirit of God says Namdekano must not be jailed. He deserves no special favor, but let there be justice. I foresee that Namdekano does not need favor, but let there be justice. Namdekano does not need special treatment from the government, but the application of the rule of law as applicable to him. The Spirit of God says, jailing him will cause chaos, especially in the Southeast. I foresee that if Sunday Igboho should return to Nigeria, the government will clamp down on him. Nigeria needs prayer as I foresee that Namdekano can only be released through dialogue and special consideration and understanding by the government and definitely not by protest and fault finding. On the issue of Biafra, Prophet Ayodele went further to predict. He said, the Spirit of God says, the Biafran government will have so many issues to face. It will be divided into two. Simon Epa, Simon Epa will face embarrassment and he also risk arrest. I foresee that they will do everything for Namdekano to drop his Biafran agitation. Those who are negotiating for this release, for his release, will tell him to drop his agitation, which will not be realistic, and also they will penetrate the inner cacus of the indigenous people or Biafra movement to impress on members the need of Namdekano to accept government condition and be released. Also, the sit-at-home order. The government will take every step to stop it. I foresee that the big men and seasoned politicians from Igbo land will never support the creation of Biafra. Well, I'm going to stop this with um, the prediction of um, um, Prophet Ayo Dele. I'm going to stop it right here because um, our major focus on uh, is on his prediction on um, the Biafran struggle, then Simon Epa and Mazi Namdekano. Like I said earlier, these are mere predictions. It doesn't mean that these things he's saying is going to happen. You know? What I don't understand is Prophet Ayodele saying that God said that um, that um, Simon Epa, you know, will face embarrassment. I'm not, I'm not speaking against um, him, but the reality is, what kind of embarrassment is um, Simon Epa going to face? The funniest thing is that, you know, these people think this issue of um, Biafran struggle, you, you know, or Biafran freedom is something that has to do with one man. Yes, we know that the Nigerian government are trying to do everything possible to abduct, you know, Simon Ekpa the same way they they did to Nam the Khan. But the reality the reality is that, you know, Simon Ekpa is not even ready to lose guard at this point in time. So all these predictions, you know, he's saying, or more for me, it doesn't really follow. It doesn't really add up. These are mere words. And my annoyance, you know, with these so-called prophets because they've really 
caused a lot of problem both in the families and in the societies generally with their so-called prophecy that is why if anybody is coming out to say that he's prophesying to you better use your number six if not you end up you end up being in a very big mess you better use your sense if not you end up being in serious trouble you end up destroying your family and your home because of ndi chuku se kwa chuku asege akariala ha akariala no obodo and the reality is that they are not seeing anything they are not seeing anything that is how they messed themselves up you know during the last election with lots of prediction my issue be say waiting concern who now consign all this prediction who now they do it the thing they be like saying i bet niger then they play let them remove their eyes you know from um the the from um biafra and let biafra handle their problem they should stop predicting i will not call it a prophecy because this is not prophecy it is not happening god did not say anything god did not say anything they should stop using the name of the lord in vain they should stop it they are creating more chaos they should stop it Ayodela and the rest should stop it they are only looking for cheap popularity you know that is what they are looking for and they are looking for a way to create division i know these are the things that they are praying for division you don't hear ramas who carry the matter con this matter no funny at all but go to the comment section give your own input on what you think concerning a decent prediction by ayo daily thank you and god bless you